Okay, to start this problem, um, I, when you solve trig problems uh, like this, it's useful to know these two properties, uh, which is limit as x approaches 0 of sine over x equals 1, and 1 minus cosine x over x equals 0. These two properties will come in handy because sometimes, like for example this problem, you need, you need to know these two. Um, well, for this one you need to know this one. But, alright, so it's useful to memorize this in general. Okay, so now let's apply it. So, we have limit of x over 0 um, as x approaches 0 is 1 minus cosine x over sine x. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to apply this. We want to apply this in a way that will work out with this. So the easiest thing to do is just multiply the bottom by x. So let's rewrite it. So limit limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x. Let's just put an x right there. Don't forget. And then see, since we're multiplying the bottom by x, we have to multiply the top by x. And don't forget about this one. So this is on the bottom. So it's sine over x. OK, so this, this is we're matching this top trig, or yeah, this property. So now it matches, and then we just we just mul all we did was just multiply the bottom and top by x, and then we just kept the um, the bottom the same. So everything is the same. So now we can apply that property. So we know that um, since it's approaching zero, this goes. We rewrite it. Limit as x approaches zero. This goes to zero, and I mean anything multiplied by Zero is just zero, so all of this, all of the, well, yeah, it's just zero. A everything multiplied by zero is zero, so we can just rewrite it. But yeah, the answer is limit as x approaches zero is equal to zero because since this approaches zero, like ev anything multiplied by it will equal zero, so the answer is zero.